Hi, I'm Dr. Tan Mai from Insight Vision Center Optometry, and I want to answer a lot of the frequently asked questions about keratoconus. The first part is about questions you want to ask about yourself, and the second part is questions you want to ask the doctor to find out if they're the right doctor for you. So let's first start with questions you might ask about yourself. After the eye exam, I would ask these questions. Doctor, what is my visual acuity in both eyes? You want to ask about your visual acuity, which is what is the smallest line of letters you can read on an eye chart. For instance, if you're reading the letters at the bottom, that would be 2020 for most patients. And that would be pretty good vision. There'd be very little concerns. If you are reading, if you can only read a letter, for instance, that's 2400, which is 20 times bigger than 2020, if that's the smallest letter you could see, that might be a sign, or that would be a sign, that your vision is not very good with that eye. So the first question is, what is my visual acuity? The next thing I would ask is about, how does my eye look when you're looking at my eye with your microscope? So every eye doctor will have a microscope called a slit lamp that they use to analyze and look at the front part of your eye and the back part of your eye as well. I would ask them in particular, how does my cornea look? As an eye doctor, when we're looking at a patient's cornea, we'll document things and write notes in a chart. We might say, cornea is clear, everything normal. That's great. Or we might say, there is a little bit of scarring of the cornea. And scarring of the cornea means that the cornea is no longer as clear. It have kind of like a dirty windshield look to it. It'd be scarred, it have opacities throughout it. So it looks like kind of like a dirty windshield, whereas the cornea is supposed to be clear. They might also document other things like cornea looks very thin, cornea looks very bowing or steep. Maybe there's a ring on the cornea called a Fleischer's ring. These are things that a doctor might document. So you might ask the doctor, how's my cornea look after they look at it with a microscope? And they'll tell you if it's clear or if there's scarring or not, for instance. Afterwards, I would ask to see, is everything else okay with my eyes? Not just about the cornea, which is where keratoconus forms, but also, is my lens clear? Or is there any cataract formation? Is everything fine with my retina? Because if things are wrong with the lens and retina, that can also impede your vision, regardless if you treat your keratoconus or not. Now after the eye exam, the doctor will usually also take a scan of the shape of the front part of the eye, called a corneal topography. A corneal topography scans the front part of the eye to measure its shape and shows it as a map. Usually red parts on the map are steeper and blue parts are flatter. So I'd ask to see the shape of my eye on the corneal topography map. Now many patients that have keratoconus also need to wear special types of lenses called scleral contact lenses. So the doctor should also scan the shape of the white part of your eye as well called the sclera. So the cornea is the clear part in front of the iris. The sclera is the white part of the eye on the sides. So I'd ask to see, what's the shape of my sclera? How does that look? And that will also influence what type of treatment the doctor might pursue when they're treating your keratoconus. So these are a lot of the questions I would ask about myself if I was a patient with keratoconus going into the see at the doctor. What's my visual acuity? How does my eye look on the microscope when you look with the slit lamp? The shape of my cornea, and also the shape of the sclera, the white part of the eye. Now I want to see and ask questions about the doctor. Is this the right place for me if I have keratoconus? There are a few clues to find out if the, if the place is right for you if you have keratoconus. Usually, for instance, at our clinic, we see patients with keratoconus every day, all year long. So it's very familiar with not just every doctor at our office, but also every person on the staff because we see patients all the time that have keratoconus. Now, some offices I might not see as many patients with keratoconus. And so you wanna know if this place is a place ideally that has a lot of experience treating your condition. So one of the first ways to find out is when you're calling and just booking an appointment, I would say, oh, I have a condition called keratoconus. Do you guys see many patients with keratoconus? If it's a staff like ours, they'll say, oh my gosh, you called the right place. We see patients with keratoconus every day. Now, if you find that the 
person answering the phone is asking you, what's that? Like, I mean, we've never heard of that. Or Keratoconus, uh, can you spell that for me? Probably a place that is great at many other things, but maybe not a specialist in Keratoconus. I might even ask a few other questions. For instance, does the doctor there have a corner topographer? Do they have a sclerotopography? And do they have an OCT instrument? A place that treats keratoconus is going to definitely map out the shape of your eye with something called a corner topography. As I mentioned earlier, that scans the shape of the eye to find out what kind of condition your cornea is in. Is there steepness on just the bottom part of the cornea? Or is it in the middle of your cornea? What does your keratoconus look like? At any office that treats keratoconus needs to have that information to find out what the best treatment option is for you. Do you need just special kind of lenses? glasses or do we need surgery so they need to scan the shape of the eye for that next many patients also need to know the shape of their sclera so i would ask the doctor do you have a scleral topography or some doctors call it a scleral prophylometry so can they determine the shape of the white part of your eye and are they scanning that shape if they're not scanning that shape they might not be able to arrive at the best fitting custom made lens designs for you because they don't know the shape of the white part of your eye either, especially if they're designing scleral contact lenses. It's becoming more and more important for a doctor to understand the shape of your eye so they can design the right lens for you, the white part of the eye. Next, I would ask if they have an OCT. An OCT helps to scan, think of it like getting a super scan, special scan, almost like an MRI of your eyeball, just the eyeball. So it will scan with a laser the shape and uh, they can look at the front part of the eye, they can look at the back part of the eye. But the OCT helps to take a scan of the eye so they can see, for instance, after you put on, let's say, a contact lens, they can see how the contact lens is landing on the eye, how much is vaulting over the central cornea, if it's too tight, too loose, they do that with an instrument called an OCT. So I'll, I'll, I'll certainly ask about that. While a doctor can look at your eye with a microscope, that's pretty good, but the next level would be to look at your eye with an OCT with a contact lens on, for instance, to see if it's fitting properly. So I'd ask to see if they have an OCT. Lastly, I would look and see if the doctor has special certifications if they're fitting a lot of scleral contact lenses. Are they a fellow of the Scleral Lens Society? So that fellowship signifies that this doctor has done extra training. They either do extra, they teach, do lectures, they've done, they've passed all written exams. They've had a lot of experience doing case reports. They've seen a lot of patients with keratoconus. And if they do, they usually get this fellowship where they specialize in designing certain types of contact lenses, for instance, for patients with keratoconus. So I would certainly ask about any type of fellowships the doctor has. So these are some of the very common questions I would ask the doctor. Doctor, what's my visual acuity? Doctor, how's my eye look on the microscope? Doctor, how's, what's the shape of my eye on the corneal map? Doctor, what's the shape of my sclera on the scleral topography? Doctor, do you have a fellowship in doing scleral contact lenses, for instance? Doctor, do you have an OCT so you can scan how the lens is sitting on my eye after you design it for me to find out if it's fitting correctly? Some of these questions will help to determine and arrive if you have found the right place to treat your keratoconus.